As board members, we express opinions that as a board, it makes no sense to have duplicative services, <laughs> programs and services that Moorhead State University has provided to this region for more than five generations to Eastern and Southern Kentucky. Board members also express concerns about the potential of adding a ninth public university at a time when the state can afford to support eight universities that are currently in the system. Whereas the Board of Regents of Moorhead State University recognizes and respects the constitutional and statutory duties and responsibilities of the Kentucky General Assembly in developing public policy for the Commonwealth and in funding state government, including public post-secondary education, and whereas the establishment of an additional public university has not been an outcome of the strategic planning process of the Council on Postsecondary Education, thereby damaging the credibility of the reform movement which the General Assembly enacted as public policy in 1997. Therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Regents of Moorhead State University that the members of the Kentucky General Assembly are respectfully and urgently requested to reject House Bill 260 in the 2012 regular session, as well as budget bill language with similar intent as a means of protecting the dwindling state resources available to public post-secondary education. Adopted the 17th day of February, 2012. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Thank you. Motion carries. What the Board of Regents did this morning was they decided to take action in opposition to House Bill 260, which would have created a, a ninth public regional university in Kentucky. And I think the Board's uh, analysis of the situation, their thorough review of the po potential impact has been very, very good. And what they've decided is Kentucky cannot afford at this time to take a shrinking pie, which higher education has uh, had for the past, since 19, 99 really and divide it even further so take eight slices of a pie and make it a nine slice it doesn't make any sense it, anybody that looks at this carefully knows it's not a 13 million dollar one-time deal it's 13 million dollars a year multiply it times 10 years a year at 130 million and the first capital project that the institution has said they want when state funds would be available to them 16 million dollars for a student center and then you know there are buildings to be renovated there are perhaps new buildings to be built there are faculty salary equity issues there are just lots and lots of issues I would say that this is a 200 to 250 million dollar 10-year proposition if you really stand back and look at it objectively and it's going to take that much public money to do this the Moorhead State University has had a very distinguished uh, record of serving this region for five generations. We've been public since 1922, and we're going to continue to do that. Our children and our families are our highest priority, and we will continue to put as much of our resource base into this region as we possibly can. And, and the board believes if there are additional public funds available, they ought to fund the system that's in place because their infrastructure is there to serve this region and serve it well.